What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. This is the Third Person Podcast. My name is Chris, and with me, as always, are my boys, Mike. What's up? Damn it. And Jesse. How's it going? You think I get the pointing right? <laughs> Guys, we did it. We finally beat the season. Well, half the season. We got through half of the season, the first yeah. half of season seven of The Walking Dead. This episode we're going to be talking about today is entitled, it's, it's episode number eight entitled Hearts Still Beating. So I want to I want to welcome you guys to the conversation, and right now we're gonna do a recap, going over to Jesse. Take it away. All righty. So Negan's unwelcome visit to Alexandria continues as other members scavenge for supplies. Things quickly spin out of control, and that's it. And that's it. <laughs> that, that's, and that's literally. It. Remember when we spent spe- spend twenty minutes recapping the fucking episodes? Uh, oh yeah. Back when we were kids. Um. Well, yeah, back when we were kids, eh? There's a lot of changes going on here. Some, okay, so some, guys, some a, lot of, a lot of stuff happened uh, in this episode. Well, okay, not that much stuff, but a lot of big things happened, let's just say. like nah. um, Some a lot things of, were set in motion. Some things were set in motion that cannot be Especially stopped. by Gerard Butler. Gerard Butler. Actually, his name is Richard... What, what do we call him? Richard Lionheart? Yeah, I that's called what, him Richard Lionheart Ezekiel the first calls time. Him, yeah, so this yeah. guy that we says he, he he's a cross between Gerard Butler and the and um, the governor. Who? Why do yeah. I ever remember his name? Um, but guys, this this one, I mean, this is to you two. This was like another uh, tied very closely to the comic. This oh, one. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of things Extremely off script. Well. A lot of things off script, yeah. obviously, with Daryl. And uh, Carol and Morgan. And Carol, Morgan, Rosita, a lot of that stuff. But the main Negan stuff. Um, yeah. When it comes to Negan, it's all, it's that's all it's been. Yeah. yeah. G- great. Yeah. Freaking fantastic. So you mentioned Carol and Morgan. Let's. Uh, you want to just start there? We'll just kick things off with um, basically basically what what happens in in there. And, and we're gonna we're not gonna keep this too long. But so Richard Lionheart comes from the kingdom, and tells. Uh, what are you laughing at? Because I gave him that name in episode two, and it's just stuck. <laughs> I, I, I think it's, I think it works out perfectly. Well, don't forget, we call, what's his name, Chode Nuggets, so that's his fucking new name, right? <laughs> yeah. We'll, we'll yeah. get to Chode Nuggets' death in a minute. But Morgan and Carol are hanging out in Carol's house, and Richard mm-hmm. Lionheart comes there, and he says, "Guys, look, all right, here's the deal." We, we don't this is the, it's only it's only a matter of time before the saviors decide to fucking kill all of us so what are we gonna do yeah now? we need to kill people you know mm-hmm. now um did ezekiel was it was he saying that yeah ezekiel doesn't want to fight them he he struck a deal with them he wants to keep as much peace as possible until he bides his time enough that's what i got from it in other words i mean i don't i don't until the iron's hot I don't think that Ezekiel has any kind of idea about possibly attacking right now. I yeah, think I, I, I agree. I don't think. Yeah, I agree, Mike. I don't think he's he's thinking. Yeah, about no. That. I just think the thing that kind of that stuck out for me was when when uh, Richard. His real name is Richard, though, right? Yes, it's really yeah, it's, it's really yeah, Richard. Yeah, yeah. So Richard did say um, many of it, it was a couple months prior that they bumped into each other on the road, the Saviors and Ezekiel and some of the guys, where they struck up the deal to begin with. So he said, Richard says, not only a few people even know that the kingdom is dealing back and forth with the saviors. Yeah. Only a few people in the kingdom know. The kingdom know, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah which I thought was all right. That tells you know, they, they told us you know, they told us a lot. And I think from from even when we first saw Richard, we kinda when he got into the fight with that long haired dude, remember? Back in episode two, you saw that he was the fighter. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, that he was he was not going to be you know waiting. He doesn't over. back down easily. Yeah, yeah. So I'm glad you know it, it's it's about time. You know, it's about time that uh, they got to do something against Negan. This is an, well, you they know. you know they obviously they're they're you know we obviously we find out you know we know the hilltop and um the the kingdom and and were the was the oceanside people they were also trading with them too. Well, no. Well, we don't know if they were trading with them. We know that the they wiped them out. Yeah. Okay, so we don't know. Okay, so so we'll leave that. Well, the big thing was is that Morgan and Carol decides to be a couple of fucking little twats and say, "Carol, just right. be left alone." Be, be little bitches you know? and be like, "Oh, yeah. we don't, we don't want to do." Yeah. And he's like, "Look, you guys are fucking, it's you guys are fucking capable fucking people. 
Mm, right. And the blood's going to be on their hands. Yeah. You know? And then he because leaves. Because at so. first, obviously, Morgan comes over with some fruit and stuff like that. And Carol's like, dude, I already have, you know. Uh, Ezekiel's been here. Ezekiel's been here. Yeah, exactly. I just yeah. want to be left alone. And that, that annoys me with Carol because she's so fucking, she's so. She's so. Such a bad yeah. ass. She saved, but she saved them so 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 many times that you know what kind of skill set she has. But you know you she's know? been the thing Anxiety. with her is in her in her defense, yeah. she's she doesn't want to. She's good at it, but she yeah. she's been having a problem with this for like the past couple seasons. Like she just doesn't yeah. want to do it anymore. That's why yeah, yeah, that's why she damn. left, dude. Yeah. That's why it's she still, fucking left. Until she finds out the truth, hopefully she'll find out what would happen on the road with Megan and Glenn and Abraham and stuff and. That's probably yeah. gonna wake her up. Well, no, I yeah, I agree with that. But also, this is a world, and just like Richard's saying, you can't, you not, you cannot keep your head in the fucking sand. This nah. is a world where you can't just live happily ever after yep. on your own fucking p- plot of land. It's not gonna happen that way. So, and it's not like she's she's camoed somewhere. Eventually, someone's gonna find her. She's in this little Dude, red house white well little groomed. house. Right? Yeah, like yeah. on a like a main looking road, and and she has the fireplace going and stuff, right. so that smoke is is you yeah, know really. in the air, and it's a, it's just a matter of time before genius the saviors find her or something. Right. So yeah, so I agree though. I think she I think she's gonna find out, and everyone's gonna be coming back together. Mm-hmm. Um, yep. Yeah. Speaking of coming back together, yeah, we get a breakout this episode. That's yeah. right. The, uh, finally, like a real breakout, oh, but like seriously. Yeah. I, I love we, this like whole thing though. Yeah. I guess we can assume where the note came from for Daryl. Yeah, I find it odd that Dwight was not in his room uh, while Daryl was in there eating a whole jar of peanut butter. We thought it was his wife, his ex. I or thought it whatever, was probably, right? but I mean, could it? I guess there's still potential that it could be a few people, but I'm assuming. I don't know about you guys. I'm assuming that Jesus was the one that did it, right? I was assuming Dwight. The, no, I'm saying I'm saying Dwight. Dwight? You think? Yeah. I'm saying Dwight because I think, I think Dwight is the one that's been following them throughout the episode, yeah. following Rick and oh, with the boot and Aaron. Yeah, yeah. and, and we'll get to we'll you know we'll we'll elaborate more on that. Really? But there's All a right. guy following I, him. I, um, I, I guess it could be that that makes sense to why Dwight wasn't around. Yeah, it really would. Yeah, and, and why and Egan. why add why add another character? On top of, we had that whole fucking throwaway episode with with Tara, and look, I get it. They're gonna they they, they better do something with that fucking town and, and well, those they will. people. They will. They will. Yeah. It would have been so screwed up if Tara died this episode, and we got that did, episode for did nothing. Did we ever get any kind of shot of Dwight's boots or anything? I don't no. think so. I don't think so. And we might have to look back and and see, but then I mean, it, I guess it, I guess it could be. But anyway, Daryl gets his uh, could be a deal. He gets he, his bike back. He gets, he gets his, his revenge, but back. can we get can can we get? I mean, we were all like, "Do it, do it, do it!" When the guy shows up, I'm, I'm not even supposed to be yeah, over there. Fucking I'm fat, He's fat eating a fucking over sandwich, there. yo. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. I don't Jesus, want I'm trying to make a living, man. You know, I'm glad Jesus wasn't like all judgmental. And Stop. Shit. You know, like yeah. he he look. Jesus understands. I really like Jesus. I really like <laughs> Jesus understands. Perfect. Jesus <laughs> <laughs> what would Jesus do? Well, he'd sit there and watch. Yeah, but that's he'd sit why. There that's and watch why. And... All right, put it this way. Remember when? Remember when uh, the last episode we saw Jesus on top of the the yeah. truck that was leaving? Right. Daryl kind of did a little look up, like he like he saw him. Yeah. You know. Oh, okay. So that's why I'm kind of. And then that. Jesus happens to pop up. So I guess he didn't go back with uh, Carl and Negan. That he did stay in there. So that's why I'm leaning towards Jesus. Got him out. That would entail, you see, but that would entail Jesus getting a key and like, where would that all happen? Yeah, but he's a ninja, man. The guy freaking jumps around. I will say, I will say, this guy's like in and out and nobody fucking sees him. Like, yeah. yeah. You know? Oh, I was guarding the gate. You can just go. You can just, hey, there's yeah. Jesus. Yeah, <laughs> Jesus is I, I really, there. I really fucking enjoy this this version of Jesus. I, I enjoy the version in the comic, though. I, I really do. But yeah. he's an older, like, kind of like wiser. This guy's like, a younger, he's young, brash, and doesn't care. But I wouldn't say he's that brash. I'd say he's 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 outgoing for sure. Like he's yeah. He's not gonna sit around and do nothing. But he, I, I wouldn't say he's brash. He's calculating and he's smart, yeah. and he's got some mad skill. And I fucking really like it. I really like this character. Fucking yeah. bright yeah. eyes, just 
he's got these bright blue eyes and the the, the look on his fucking face like at all times is like I, I think you're just in love with him. I, I yeah. think I am. He's just, it's just, <laughs> he's just a really, I, I do. I actually love this character. I think he's one of no, my I favorite like characters. I like the Jesus character yeah. too. I just, I'm just so glad that Daryl got out of there. I was actually surprised that he, you know what I mean? I always, I thought so it was going to be like a, you know, oh my God, he tried again and he got caught like he did the first. Where was finish. everybody right? So what, they take a whole, a whole, art, um, not arsenal, but a whole conglomerate of, of guys and gals yeah. over to the fucking, to Alexandria? Maybe, maybe they're at other, I get, I don't know, maybe right, they're Right, right, right. They could Alexandria be doing that. Later on. Bottom line they, is, Daryl well, got they, out. And they deliberately made, made us, the viewer, notice whose room Daryl went in. Yeah. You know? They went in. He was in Dwight's room, obviously, and they put that. They did that for a reason to let us know that Dwight. Where is du, is Dwight? Yeah. So I guess it could be. I guess it could be him that let, helped Daryl out, or um, was the one that was spying potentially. Yeah. I'm sorry, but if I I break out of a cell, I I'm not going to eat a whole jar of peanut butter without like a glass of milk or something there. Yeah, that's like filet mignon after the dog food. Yeah, I was gonna say. Shrimp. I don't know, man. I might. That might be. That it, it doesn't matter. You I know? mean, I agree it, though. So, I agree. That's it, that's rough. It, 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 that's that's rough, gonna be man. hard to swallow. Yeah, getting all that protein. Yeah. You know. Um, but hey, he gets out of there. Thank God. He yeah. looks. He he looks like shit though. They fucking. It does. They did really good makeup on that guy. Um, yeah. But okay, so he gets out, get, grabs a bike, and him and Jesus, you know, they hot footed out of there. So, so good. I'm, I'm, I'm just happy that he got out, and I'm also happy that he beat the shit out of that fucking guy. That he beat him to death. Like, yeah. that. Yeah, he didn't need it to fucking. I wish we got to see the death though, like the actual death. No, yeah, him getting beat in the skull. We see enough. That's money. That's money. We you see know? enough. You That's know? just more, more of Greg Nicotero's magic. Yeah. But like, it, like it's just gratuity for gratuity's sake, you know. It's like we don't. Oh well. It was actually better to not and just see his reaction and Jesus's reaction, you know. Um, I suppose. You want to move yeah. on from here? You want to? Let's talk about. Um, oh, yeah, about, the boat uh, that should still somewhat float. Rick and Aaron. Yeah. <laughs> Billy Mays here with uh, spray <laughs> spray two thousand. Got a hole in your boat. <laughs> <laughs> just... <laughs> oh okay. god dang it that was that was fun though i'm gonna say that was it fun was. especially when they started popping all the zombies in the fucking head um <laughs> they made another carl yeah, yeah they did yeah, right. they, they made many carls man they fucking popped uh, a lot of guys and then well, one in, in particular like had carl's actual like eye look oh that's true off the side long hair and then the eye <laughs> did you um did you guys think that aaron was gonna bite it then I was hoping not. I, I was actually I was, concerned for him. Yeah, I was hoping not also. I was thinking that maybe he'd do one of those Bob things, like when Bob got pushed under when they went, yeah. like, you know, and the I'm room bit. was halfway. Yeah, like maybe he would, who knows? I mean, maybe he maybe he was bitten, but I doubt it, you know, from under the water. I don't think, water. yeah. Okay. I, I don't yeah, I don't think so either. But I mean, he's a collegiate swimmer because he was like under for a minute or so. And he pops up right by the stairs like, hey, come on. Yeah, oh, I did it. Yeah, I did it. It's fine. Um, yeah, those 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 were fun though. Those are fun zombies though. We couldn't we couldn't like yeah. watch them and not fucking make their voices fucking feel <laughs> stupid and silly. Yeah. Uh, no, but okay. So they get all they get all these fucking supplies and it's like this fucking guy. So that guy's With dead, right? I guess that guy's dead. He's got to be dead. Yeah, because that note even said you're still an asshole. You think you won? Congratulations! You still yeah. didn't win. It said right With yeah. the fucking yeah. middle finger. You though. won, but you still didn't win. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so they end up loading that shit back, and they they have that little heart. They to take heart their time. Talk. Yeah, they take Call their fucking time. time. God, and then time. and then when we get to Alexandria, they're unloading it with one hand, tossing it. Yeah, the chick is like, yeah, to tossing them out. Meanwhile, it took two guys to put it up in the truck. Like, come on. Yeah. Um, you guys want to go that move shot, over? That shot. That shot was a little annoying, though. It was like we're following them. You know, it's just to give uh, us more dialogue. It was like that. Yeah. It was just. I, yeah. I, I, mean, kept, I understand. I honestly. Why, but... I honestly kept thinking every time Aaron went back to the truck and then moved away and it Someone showed gonna be it showed the lane. I thought there was going to be like a zombie or, yeah. or some asshole standing there, yeah, his dick out. You know, that. I was thinking it was going to be something like that. I don't know. Hey, guys. Yeah. Hey, hey. Hey, guys. What you guys ever seen stuff? one of these? <laughs> it's a yeah. zombified one. <laughs> yeah. You guys want a I did, zombie I did, dildo? They, they, gave you that, they gave you that impression, though. You know? They definitely yeah. the way they I like shot it, though. It, but... but we go right from there. We go to Alexandria. Yep. They bring this stuff yeah. back. And 
okay now this is where this is where i know we all had some fucking issues like ass kicking I, I had quite a few ass issues ass with it fuck. uh yeah. before we get to aaron's beat down we had uh the newly shaven negan mm-hmm. being a complete and utter douche what? which was amazing that yeah, was pretty damn good, though, yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. You, you want to taste the spaghetti? Yeah. Spaghetti, God, making it. spaghetti making rolls. And, and he was waiting for Rick. You yeah. know, yeah. We, see, we see he was waiting for Rick, and obviously Rick wasn't there yet. And then Carl's in his apron and making fucking roll, making uh, dinner rolls and yeah. uh, whatever, you June know. June's sitting there. She's already 15 yeah. years old. Yeah, right. She's fucking the kid's, like, fucking already, like, so big already. Yeah. The big thing is 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 you know Spencer's stupid ass and what his agenda was. Right. Well, we'll get know. to him in a second, but let's talk about when. I mean, we all we all flipped out like when when Rick Rick and Aaron walk in, and mm. their guys are like being all fucking dicks to Rick, and we're all just like, yeah. "Oh my fucking god, will you fucking stab this bitch in the throat?" Seriously. Yeah. Like just fucking just get, and they're all being assholes to him, and then he fucking. They, they unload the note. They unload and and they have the note. And here's the other thing that pisses me off. And this is what pisses me off about TV. And this is why like I get really involved and yell at the fucking TVs because it's like, asshole, Aaron, open your fucking face and tell them we didn't fucking write that note. That he was, was with telling the supplies. Them that, he kind of no, was, wasn't, but no, he wasn't, guys. Like, he wasn't. We, he was we like, didn't do that. We didn't. He was, no, oh, yeah. hey, 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 well, no, hold on now. Hey, hey. That, that's what he said. That's what the <laughs> motherfucker said. Hey, 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 we did, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> no, you open your fucking mouth. You don't look at Rick. You open your fucking mouth and you say, we didn't fucking write this note, dickhead. Some yeah. asshole that we stole this shit from wrote the note. Yeah. The fuck, Is man? Is really uh, of the guy's just, dead, though? Uh, no, we did. I, I knew it. And I knew, I fucking knew from the look on that dickhead's face that he wasn't going to open his fucking mouth. Well, you know what? You got your ass handed to you. And I hope you, I hope you have internal bleeding now, Aaron, because you're a fucking moron. <laughs> well, yeah, okay. Okay, so yeah, Aaron got beat pretty badly. <laughs> As uh, as Chris here so bluntly put it, <laughs> piss me off, man. It's fucking piss me off. Either way, you know. It, it was way. it was a good scene. I'll I'll give it that. But yeah, you know, there's just and the way they treat Rick, we were all just like, "Fuck you guys." Yeah. Yeah, Rick. These guys would have been. It's like child's play compared to the, how Rick would. You can see it in in Rick in his expressions. You yeah. see that he was just, uh, you know, want, He's wanting to up. let loose. Yeah. Look, it's all fuel to the fire, and I'm, I'm hoping what happens is that 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 fire explodes when the time comes, and he's just, oh, and we get we see we've that seen it rage. Start to burn. I mean, right? Andrew Lincoln is obviously capable of of that type of explosion. Because he's yeah. done it before on the show, oh, and, he's, and they he's... and they have, so they better bring all that baggage with him in yeah. the coming yeah. scenes when it comes down to it. Well, I think we see. I think we, you know, by the end of the episode, we see where the his mind, is, where he's turned. Yeah, he's getting that fire back. You know. No, I meant. But, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, yeah. I meant when you know when it finally does, like when when the war yeah. actually you know comes down to it, and and they're fighting. I want him. I want him to eviscerate motherfuckers. Like, I want Speaking of to... evisceration. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So <laughs> oh, fucking God. Spencer, man. Fucking sh- oh, damn it! I said his name. I meant, I meant to call him his real name. Chode Nugget. Fucking Chode, Chode Nugget. Nug- Chode Nugget's fucking guts. So I mean, we all we were all waiting for this. We all knew that the guts. You know that's the comic, the comic. Like we was like, do it. If you don't do it, I'ma hate you. Yeah. Yeah. Played out perfectly <sighs> though, right? What yeah, do you guys like, think? I, I think. I think it yeah. was perfect. And and I know I- we hate. I know we hate that character but the dude that plays spencer real well i mean he he plays yeah. he plays that yeah, he part did, really he, he well he plays that part well he plays that part well he's like he's a little fucking weasel yeah you know when I'm he was sitting there, kind of the part. <laughs> when he was sitting really? there and he was talking and he was having the initial game of pool with Hi. with negan and he's Hi. talking and yeah. And and um, oh, Rick is this and Rick is that, and you see Carl in the background, and you see Rosita in the background, you see the you know the rest of Alexandria in the background. It's like I can imagine what they were thinking, you know, when they were when, probably at, thinking when, the same thing we was. Yeah, Kill. well, what Spencer said, yeah, and and for a while it was kind of cool in a way. It was satisfying when when Negan told Spencer, "Hey, listen, uh, you know, the guy that hates me so fucking much." Is the one that's not here and is out there getting his fucking supplies for that you guys. Guts. He's, he's for, swallowing you know, complete, his hatred. He's pretty and doing much his yeah, job, and he's right. telling him like, "Yo, that dude's out there getting shit for me to protect your stupid ass, 
and you're sitting here kissing my ass by giving yeah. me, yeah. you know, some whiskey and and kissing my ass uh, playing it's pool. Perfect. It's perfect. You know? it's, it's perfect. It's like a perfect yeah. end to that dumb son of a bitch. Um, yeah, I mean, you played I, him real you know. well, but you played him yeah. a little too well. <laughs> yeah, no, oh. it was, but yeah, I, I was, I was, I mean, we were all fucking super happy when he fucking died. Like, yeah, it's like, get this guy out of here, you know. Um, but you know, before we just let's just briefly mention Rosita and her little talk with, um, what's his face? Uh, uh Gabriel. It's Gabriel. Yeah, no. the Reverend it's Gabriel. Yeah, you know. She, I mean, what the hell? That's he, he. He was trying to convince her that not to do what she did. Right. Yeah. Said find the right time. You don't yeah, have to die. Not today. Yeah. And Jesse, yeah. you were saying how like this is what he. Oh, so in the comic, he like he starts to like talk sense and step up and be a, com- a community member. Yeah. And that's when I start absolutely loving his character arc. Yeah. Or his, his just character development and. Jeez, I can't think of his name right now. Played on the wire, Seth Gilliam. No. Uh, he just he plays Gabriel so perfectly. When you want to hate him, you hate him. When he's doing right by you, yeah. you love his character. They cast they they fucking cast everybody. Yeah, he's a good he's, he's a good actor. So good. Yeah. Yeah, he's you a good know. Actor. But yeah, so that's so yeah, so we got a little bit of Gabriel. He's been a little more prominent. And obviously, that's going to play play into something later. Um, what else, what else went down? Oh, so we'll talk about Rosita and what happened with 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 her. You know, following yeah. Spencer's douche right. nugget, whatever chode nugget, chode nugget. Yeah. You know, after after his his guts were all on the floor, what does Rosita do? You know, Rosita. It, it, to me, it does. It didn't look that. Well, it didn't look that she was planning on this that it just she was she couldn't help it yeah no she that, flipped out because she was like yeah. she was like this motherfucker's done i'm but done I with this motherfucker. Was the time. Yeah. Yeah. i don't think yeah. it was the time that she was gonna necessarily do this i also I think she think didn't know the circumstance came and she was emotional and and she just said fuck it yeah you know yeah i think and, any um, one of us would have fucking done that yeah Probably. and i think I just, she, she 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 saw an opportunity you know yeah, and, and it she hits, missed, and it and it hits. Um, I can't fucking believe Lucille. that shit, man. Yeah, but that happens though in the comic book. Someone fires. I, I don't so, know if it yeah. was her, because I saw it on like a spoiler remember. thing where. Um, so but it, it's such it takes a long a while ago. Jesse and I are like so chunk. far. Ahead. Yeah, this is happening like know, three years ago for her. us. Yeah, yeah, I don't know if it was her. But a big ch- chunk of, of I think I remember Lucille. something like that. Yeah, yeah. I think I remember it's something like that. So they probably someone... brought that in. Yeah. Yeah. But um, but that all that all again, it's it's very simple rules. If if you mm-hmm. fucking if you fuck with Negan, you there get are the consequences bat. to pay. Yeah, yeah. It's and you're either gonna get your head bashed in or someone's gonna get killed. And so he has one of he has that girl, uh, kill someone and she shoots, um, Olivia. Olivia, I can never remember. Her yeah. Name. Right in the eye socket. So. Fucking. Right, yeah. right below the eye socket. Yeah, in her cheek. Um, and he makes, and of course, he, he again makes another fat joke about, like, you know, I just saved you. Yeah, saved yeah. you another mouth to feed. And by the looks of it, that mouth did some damage. Yeah. yeah. I Rosita, give him a country accent. <laughs> Rosita gave herself a nice scar, right? He doesn't kill. He doesn't kill anybody that does the the attack. You know, he kills somebody else, so they have yeah, that guilt on there. Well, yeah, obviously, yeah. yeah. So it's it's yeah. like these are your consequences, asshole. You gotta you gotta you gotta you like, gotta admire him for that, you know? Me. Yeah, being like very you know, very smart. And, uh, no, it is very smart. It'll make you think twice before you react. And obviously, in this case, other, it didn't yeah. it didn't uh, it didn't work with Rosita. But you know, in the end, you know, when Rick comes over there, and it's 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 like. Um, you know, Rick's just like, "Yo, dude, just get the fuck out of here." Blah blah blah. Yeah. And what and what uh, what does Negan say? I want to find out who the fuck made this bullet, because yeah. right off the bat, what does he do? He's so smart. Like we're all saying, he sees the such value in that, just like you know, Rosita did, and and the rest of the group will, because we don't necessarily, well, we don't know if um, Eugene shared those plans with everybody else, right? I don't Besides, think he has. Abraham and Rosita and things like that. So no, because initially it was with Abraham. He, him, and I think Abraham. He said it with Rick, place. didn't he? Yeah, yeah we Rick, don't know. Rick if... knows. Yeah. Um, Did he? Yeah, Rick knew. 
Yeah. So, so anyway, he sees the value in that. Before that, though, how did he notice that it was hand crimped? Because he said, "Look at all, look at all the crimping," and say, "Look at the crimping." He I didn't have enough all... time to look at that bullet casing. No. Well, Stevie he was man. he was standing. He was staring. looking at it. Yeah, he's looking at it. What are you gonna do? Well, he he literally did that number there, and then I don't know. Well, Maybe the guy I made mean, bullets in his TV past. magic. Yeah, it's TV yeah. magic. Maybe the guy made bullets again. We, you know, and and Jesse, we talked about this in our comic review in the last couple yeah. of comics. Was that you know Some we Negan don't know backstory. his backstory and 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 yeah. you know you, you I'm, got I'm looking... it in the comic? No, you got... no, no, no we, we want no. it is what it is. But we want it. We want a backstory. But yeah. You know, so they take so he takes Eugene. I mean, yep. oh, that God. didn't. I mean, that didn't happen in the comics. So no, I don't know what's going to go on. So he what, didn't take I mean, Daryl because Daryl didn't exist either. Well, exactly. So now you know what's going to happen now. I mean, so now they're going to change some shit. You know, they're going to yeah. change some shit up. And and again, it doesn't have to follow the comic. And I think no. the three of us have been a little bit spoiled this season because it's been sticking so much to the comic, and we're such fans of the comic. Mm. That we want to, we just assume, oh, it's just going to be, but no, it's not. And then they, they got to, they got to take, and that's fine. And that's fine. And, yeah. I, and I, and I think we all enjoy it that way. Um, Speaking of not the comics. Right. We get, uh, we get Andrea's character from the comics again, this uh, episode. Yeah. We get, uh, we get Michonne taking yeah. up that role of the housewife. Yeah. Which Jesus yeah. Christ, I didn't expect her to shoot that lady, honestly. Well, what was that? But what is he I mean, again? Guess, what? What? I think you know what that was. You know what that was. That's what? The, the same thing with Rosita and the same thing with Michonne. Mm. You know, it's it's showing these. Okay, so remember we talked about this previously, where we have a bunch of these rogue agents now, and yeah. all of them separately want to go and handle Negan. You have yeah. Carl. Look how that turned out. Rosita. Look how that turned out. Michonne. Yeah. Look how that turned out. They yeah. all separately realized. Fuck, we and now you got Sasha, right? And and Sasha too. Yeah, and Sasha and really. She, yeah, yeah, because she was gonna go do the same thing, and they all realize, you know, it needs to be a. They need needs to, to be, be united. And it, it, yeah, and it, and it culminates in the Andrea esque speech that Michonne gives to Rick inside mm-hmm. the Negan cell in uh, Alexandria. Okay, so, um. I don't know. I don't remember I, how it goes. <laughs> but but I was going to quote it, but yeah. No, that's fine. But but that's what it is. It, it's basically yeah. that's what that was Andrea's role in the comic and um, the voice of reason. Yeah, and it was a really cool scene, and then I did an amazing job with that. She, I don't yeah, think yeah. she's ever had an opportunity to to give like a monologue like that, you know. No, uh, not on this show. Definitely not. No, and and again, it's just everyone is does just just does these characters so well yeah. and. Amazing casting, always has been, really. Yeah. So I mean, so we, so that's what we got. We got that. We got that, and and it and it spurs Rick on to be like, you know what? You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. And and I mean, I don't know, guys. Look at look at how like if you think about think about how normally it's Rick is the first one to be like the cowboy, right? Yeah. Nah, yeah. nah, nah, nah. We're gonna go fuck these guys up. Nobody fucks with us. Nobody. This mm-hmm. time around. You know, Everybody and, else got and there was first. Everyone, and, and not not for nothing, but I feel like that's a testament to Rick because yeah. he's, I don't want to say trained, but he's imbued in them the fact yeah. that Rubbed they are them, yeah. a family. They are yeah. un, they're an unstoppable force, and they will survive no matter what. Like Michonne says, Even look at Gabriel. everything. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. They all re- It's so funny because everybody who hated Rick – or didn't mm. like Rick because Gabriel didn't like Rick. He didn't like his ways. Yeah. He didn't like any of his shit. Came, comes to realize he's, he's right. a good leader, right? He's yeah. right. Yeah. He's a good leader. He's a natural, right? Mm-hmm. Um, but don't you know? And but like I said, it's a testament to Rick because he surrounded himself with these people, and they've mm-hmm. they've acclimated themselves to being these t- these people. Even Carl, yeah. he's threatened Negan like a bunch of times already. Yeah. So I, I don't just, care what he does. You know. I, yeah, so I I I think that's I think that's a really cool. You know, there's yeah. a depth there's a depth to to these characters and the and their group, um, that when you look past all you know the initial things that are going on, you know, and, and, and I just like it. I think it's I think it's really cool. And I and it, oh, when I think back overall over, since the beginning of the season, it, I think I think about everybody and how they're doing. And now they've come together, mm-hmm. and now they've they've turned Rick to the point where he's like, you know what, y'all are right. 
I was wrong. Now we're going to do, do something this. about it. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. And speaking of doing something about it, we get, uh, back to the we get some nice stuff between Maggie and uh, the hilltop at the beginning. Mm-hmm. Her more or less showing her initiative and in taking over Gregory's position. Well, they flat out yep. said it. Enid was like, are, are you president of Hilltop yet? Yeah. Like, oh, all right. Okay. Are you yeah, like, it's, a, it's a matter no, I've of I've just time. been talking to some people and blah, blah, blah. So yeah. they're she giving us that, which is good. And... Which is good. Yeah. You know, she's got the yeah. short hair and the hat. Yeah. Now realized... she has a ritual of being at Glenn's grave and then climbing up to the wall. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. And Maggie wore the hat in the comic. Remember? Yeah, she wore the hat. Yeah, that's why for the I was longest like, time. Oh, yeah, Blinn's hat, right. actually. Yeah, I remember that um, halfway through, like when we saw her again, I was like, oh, shit, that's right, okay. Mm. Yeah, I remember and that. And Glenn didn't wear a hat in the show uh, after season two, so. It wasn't oh, a red no. hat? It was a red and blue hat. I feel like it was a red and blue hat, but either way, she's yeah. wearing a hat. But she, I'm just yeah. saying, Maggie in the comics wears a hat, so yeah. around this time. Good so, homage to it. Anyway, um, you're right, yeah. So, yeah, she's got her ritual, and, and she's already – you know, and she she's even got um, uh, what's his face in her pocket now. Uh, oh, Gregory. Gregory, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's, God, there's so many names. Yeah, yeah. She's she's yeah. nice apple you've got there, yeah. dude. She's pregnant. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you fuck. even have, you even have hilltop people backing her. You know. Yeah. yeah. Like, dude, because she wasn't the one that said it. Like, give me the fucking apple. Yeah. You know, yeah. it was the other There's guy. The card. Yeah, they they you know, it's passing the torch now. Like Gregory's time over there is pretty much done. Yeah. And that's what I guess we'll see. You know, when we see Maggie peeking over and looking from the from the you know, the the ladder there on the, the little parts. Uh, yeah. Yeah, whatever that is, she sees because we were all like, Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Who's she looking is at? Is it she Daryl and Jesus? Yeah, and it turns out to be uh the badass Alexandrians and and yeah. Rick again. Yeah. You know. What a fucking Boys are back in town. What an amazing fucking scene! That whole oh, that scene, awesome. it, like it made it made me choke up because it was like, yeah. and it made me like realize, like, damn, I I fucking care about these characters. I really enjoyed the show because like they yeah. they all came together and like they hugged and Maggie and Rick hugged and then he saw then fucking Daryl and Jesus walk yeah, out. Yeah, that behind was it. the that was the that was crazy. Yeah. And I was like, yeah. hug him, fucking hug him, Daryl, just fucking put brother. his head down, like, hey, yeah. hug me, you know. I think he was kind of like, I'm sorry, like I'm fucking yeah, sorry, man. Yeah, that was a total. Uh, you yeah. know, but and he fucking hands him his fucking python. We were like, yeah, the biggest reunion. That's it. That was the biggest, exactly. That was yeah. that was the. Um, Did you see? He took a step symbolic... back and he looked at it. Yeah. He was like, what? Like, holy you got? shit! Yeah. So that's great. That's. I that's see you're bad. I raise you my python. For um for Rick getting his mojo back. It was. Super, oh, super. That was it. That was like the nail in the coffin, right? Or the straw that broke the Rick's back of his yeah. indecisiveness. Yeah. But what's hilarious, and we all were laughing, was that it. It then went around the circle of everyone just looking and nodding at each other. Nod, nod, yeah. nod, nod. It was pretty fucking <laughs> funny. It's very uh, yeah. American Pie esque or yeah. something. Yeah. yeah. Great, fucking great though. We were all just like, yeah. It was. It, it, was, it was a really good. good. It was a great. You know, and, and, and I wanted to bring this up. I wanted to bring this up because, again, we, we all three of us, we, we read the comic, okay? And we know what's coming. We know what, we know where this has come from. We know what's coming. People who are watching this show that don't know the comic, I wonder if it's the same for them. Like, is it, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm really curious to see if you guys out there, if you don't read the comic, but you're watching the show and you're, and you're just as much of a fanatic as we are about it. Like, did it, affect, I'm sure it did, but did it, but did the connotation of what it meant, like, this is a turning point, this is this group of people coming back together, what, did you guys have those same feelings like we did, like, god damn it, this is fu- awesome now, now they're back, yeah. and now they're, you know what I mean, because it's fucking, it's a big deal, and, and it saddens mm-hmm. me to think, you know, when I hear people say, like, all oh, this season's boring, and they're not doing this, and I'm like, this has never happened on this show, the last time this happened really? was the end of season three. When yeah. they were split up from the prison, this was the last. That was the last time. This is four years later, where yeah. we're getting this type of thing again. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. So I don't know. That's my two cents about that whole section. You know, it's just it's just amazing, and I hope people are understanding and like it's affecting them the way it affects us because it's just it's just great. And I think I think it was fantastic uh, mid season. You know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, definitely the best episode this season by far. I minus the first one. Uh, 
the first one don't even get me started on it. That's like don't. that's like someone posting something sad on Facebook and you don't want to hit the like button. Like you want to hit the like button, but you don't want to hit the like because yeah. you don't want to like what the content is, but you want to like that they're pointing it out or bringing it to people's yeah, attention. Yeah. It's so dumb. It should just be like a button should be. Like, I don't want to like this, but whatever. Yeah. I like I like the sentiment, but I don't yeah, like. Yeah, it should content. be like yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think that's what episode one is kind of like. I you forget know, what I was going to say exactly, but... I'm sorry, you said it was the best episode of the season. No, no, it was before that. It, it was something about Rick and company. Uh, oh, we've grown up with these guys for seven years now. Yeah. They've developed their characters for seven years. They've perfected them, and they they continue to grow. And as they grow, they perfect them even more. And it, just, it blows you away, the yeah. range they have. Non-verbal range, even. Like, those nods there, those were heavy nods. Yeah, well, that's what drove me nuts for so long in the beginning of the season when Rick was just beaten like a fucking dog, yeah. you know, because we've we've seen nothing but him being, you know, the leader, the, the winner, yeah, the always handling what he has to do, and now for them to 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 sh- give us that hint and not even a hint, just tell us that that he's back, yeah, and like I said, that Python was the big thing when he that that's his <laughs> that's his fucking mojo. You know, that's... Let's see your bat stop this 44. Yeah, yeah. And, of course, they gave it to Fat Joey or Fat Tony or whatever the fuck it was, so it was semi-easy for them to get it back. Yeah, yeah. magic. Yeah. They got to they do stuff. But, it, I mean, yeah, man, I, I agree. They just... um, But, you know, but that's the thing, though. Again, you... People, you know, people don't like that, but you can't... You want to have the same thing over and over. Like you have to take your heroes down a notch yeah. so they can keep growing. Yeah. You can only go, excuse me. You can only go so far, right? Until yeah. you, you have to. There's got to be reasons to grow, and the only way you're going to grow is if you get knocked down. Yeah. To take a note from Westworld, to quote Charlotte uh, talking to Ford. Well, once you reach the top, there's, there's only, only one, one way to go. to go. Right. So yeah. they reach the top of their yeah. current arc. And they had to be taken down a few pegs to go up even more. You know, they well, reached just, the top I'm up glad there. that they didn't do it. wasn't so, so long that they made him and yeah. Rick and Rick's group. The, you know, they, they gave us just enough weakness and oh, vulnerability. Half of the season's good enough. Yeah. Well, let's talk about that real quick, guys, as we're wrapping this up, because you guys were telling me, oh, they're going to drag. They're going to, this is going to be longer, longer, longer. I'm now, I'm saying, I did say they were going to drag out meeting the kingdom for Rick's group past the mid season. You did, okay, you did say that, but um, do you still think this is going to be a two-season I, thing? I, at least a season and a half. I always said a season and a half to two seasons. Uh, see, I thought. I mean, we'll see. We'll see what happens within the next half. The next half. Well, you know, know we're not are even they gonna, are, they gonna, are they going to go through? You know, Negan's. Uh, uh, you know, this war, this 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 culmination of different groups. Are they going to show us all this? Are they going to do it quick? Are they going to have the Alexandrians, the Hilltop, um, the Kingdom, even maybe the Oceanside or some of these groups? Are they, let's see how long it's going to take the Walking Dead to, to get them together, for them to all agree that we need to fight. And um, let's see where it takes us by the end of the season, because who knows? Will they start the war? Will Rick fucking stab fucking Negan? Like, you know what I mean? Or are they going to set us all up and it's going to season seven is going to end and we're going to have this whole break over the summer into October wondering what season eight is going to be about. Well, I'm, I'm, I mean, we're going to do a whole prediction show guys. So we're just giving you a little taste, but I'm, I'm going to say right here on record that I think it's going to, they're going to at the very least start the war. They haven't even gotten to Dwight yet, man. By the end of the season. Well, a lot can happen in eight more episodes. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, at least a season and a half. I've always said that. I'm sickened by it. At least a season and a half. I mean, if if they start the war and finish Mm -hmm. it in the first half of the season and then they do the the time break at the mid season of eight, which would make sense. That would, I see that. I see that happening. You're not dragging it out. There's no, there really is no reason to drag it out. You have yeah. a lot of story to tell. Um, you're not going to catch up to the comic at this point. You know, you're still. They might. Maybe, but I don't think it won't happen for another couple of years. 
Believe you know, me, then they know too. Even if they, they do, they can take how, a year hiatus. Yeah, they know their pace. They yeah. know the and, pace. And thing. and it doesn't matter if they do or don't because then they can just they'll always have something to work off. My point is, is yeah, yeah. I think I think it's a, 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 I think it might be. I had always said a season or a season and a half as well. So, um, but I think I think at the end of this season we're gonna at least get the beginning of the war. Like, yeah, maybe. Um, honestly, oh my God, I mean. Uh, and you know, I forget. It. We'll talk about it in pretty. Let's yeah. Let's not. Get, yeah, we'll we'll, we'll get continue this discussion it, yeah. later. Um. Anyway, guys, favorite yeah. parts before we head on out. Oh, oh my geez. god! I think the when when Daryl <laughs> sneaked around <laughs> the freaking corner, man. You know, I was really, I was really glad. You know, I was really glad that they that they wrapped that up fast. Like I said earlier, that you know, I'm uh, I was surprised how fast, not necessarily how fast, but but that Daryl actually got out of there. Yeah. You know. I thought it was going to be one of those other things where, oh, I'm going to p- try to get out, but I, you know, I got stopped again, kind of a thing. So when Daryl came around that corner and and uh, just the look on Daryl's face and you know Rick got his, you know, like we said, his little brother, his brother, yeah, yeah that, that was great. Back. Now I, I'm gonna have to pick uh, earlier part of that scene when the gates open and just see him there, and you know everything is back in our court. Even when they all walked away, right? And yeah, they when they walking were walking towards, towards the house. Yeah. yeah. It was like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're back. Yeah, we're yeah. back. I think, so what about you there, Chris? I think um, yeah, I think the whole end scene, it, that's an obvious mm-hmm. an yeah. obvious thing. I think that was, you know. And douche nuggets yeah. gutting. Douche, douche nugget nuggets dying. Um, yeah. I, I enjoyed that. But I also, I also enjoyed uh, – the lake scene in the beginning. Yeah. I enjoyed the them on the lake. The yeah. I enjoyed them on the lake when they had the couple little jump scares and they, and they had to fight their way. And like, I thought that was fun. I, <laughs> the I, one I in the canoe that. got me. <laughs> the, we had that, that second jump scare. Cause it was the first one uh, in the one boat. And then that she was on the canoe. So like, yeah. Yeah. yeah so I, I enjoyed that. I thought that was fun. I thought it was cool to see. I didn't love expect the double. <laughs> yeah, no, didn't expect the double. And I just love, I love seeing their zombie work. Like, I love yeah. seeing one of the, my favorite things about this show, and I don't think I've ever mentioned it. Maybe you have, but uh, what they what they've done since this show's begun in makeup and effects, like, and they're yeah. practical. I mean, there are their a lot CGI of isn't a lot of digital. Really, every kill, every practically every night, I'd say ninety percent of the kills we see are digital CGI kills with a hilt just being touched to the head of the actor or the stunt double, whatever. Yeah, and yeah. the stuff's being digit and some of it you could kind of tell. Um, yeah, like with Michonne's sword, if she jabs it through, it goes like through really quick. Yeah. That's but I mean, it's still, it's still like, it's so, yeah, it's so they what they've job. done, what they've done. So anyway, yeah. uh, not to drink it out, but I, I enjoyed that. I enjoy, I enjoy seeing yeah. a lot of that. And that's, it's just, that's what I want to see. I want to mm-hmm. see video game style shit where it's like a, a very different type of way to use the zombies. Like I enjoy that. There's, you know, being creative with the zombies and putting them in situations like that because that was fun. That was just a really cool little trap thing, you know. Um, and it was like because they did that in Fear the Walking Dead. I think that's what Fear the Walking Dead did very well this past season was yeah things to do with the zombies falling from the balcony, going off the bridge, um, some of the things they did inside the building. You know, like I thought those are some good stuff. So. Yeah. Um, but anyway, that's that. Uh, guys, is that it? You think that's it? You think? Um, yeah. I think yeah. We wrapped, I think anything we else? That anything up. else that you want to shoot out real quick? Uh, I mean, no. you know, the season went fast. These episodes, these episodes, even though they, you know, they were an hour and a half. These last couple, they seem to go very fast. Yeah. yeah. But that two month, that you know, the two months flew. So, um, you know, we only have two months more, and uh, we'll have, have some more. I think. I think it's February twelfth. I yeah, think so we got so. about three months. We, it's like yeah. a week like, or two after the Super Bowl. So you figure yeah, like three after. months, where we are now, middle of December. Um, well, two months. January, February, they crack a jack. No, you got to yeah. go to Jan- half of January. Oh, two months. Yeah, you're right, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> half and half. Whatever, man. <laughs> Fucking late, man. Right? I'm tired. <laughs> Whatever, dude. One, anyway, two, four. <laughs> Guys, we want, you to, we, September. we want you guys to continue the conversation with us like you guys always do. We really appreciate that. You guys are awesome. We love, love, love your theories. We love we love how um, you guys continue this conversation. That's the whole point. Um, and we love this. you so much we're doing a giveaway. That's right. We have three days left still. Yeah, a few days left. We, we have, have until so Thursday night at 11.59. You can still enter as long as you have your entry in the for the Thursday. Say the day. Thursday though. the uh, 15th. 
Thursday the 15th. Yeah, December 15th. So, you have until December 15th, yeah. midnight. As soon as that clock goes from the 15th to the 16th Eastern Standard Time, it's off. Done. And we'll and then we'll get we'll get uh you're gonna be getting a video uh that of the probably yeah that you know that during the weekend we'll get you a video up of uh who won and we'll see what goes there so if they so choose you can if, choose to remain anonymous uh oh that's true yeah oh but that ruins our video though we want to shout it out we want to shout from the mountaintops we want to celebrate the people who who support us eh, whatever yeah, that's anyway true. so anyway Just guys thank you very much be anonymous. Yeah, that's sure. Whatever you guys want, it's up to you. We just appreciate the support, yeah. and we're trying, and that's what we're giving back to you. And we're going to mm-hmm. do more of those anyway. Yeah. Um, so guys, uh, we're going to be doing a prediction video for this as well as Westworld. So, yeah. um, the, be on the lookout for those. Um, we're going to have more re- uh, Walking Dead related content. We're going to be going back and and reviewing. We're going to be doing a video on our favorite singular episodes of each yeah, of yeah. ours of The Walking Dead from any season. Um, we're going to be doing. Some, some Game of Thrones content. We're going to be doing some Game of Thrones content. and we got, we got a long way off. Uh, we're going to be doing, like I said, Westward Predictions, Season 2, and um, a bunch of other Walking Dead stuff. Probably going to go back and uh, talk about some of the old episodes, stuff yeah. like that. We're, we're, we're all working it out still. Um, uh, but those those uh, upload schedules will be um, not as regular. But, you know, so just make sure that you hit that little bell icon thing on somewhere on the yeah, page right. here so you get you get that notification when new videos pop up yep. from us um but yeah we're bringing you we're bringing you um you know some uh more regular content on all this stuff and plus we're going to be doing uh, we're going to be throwing humans out there uh that's starting in february out here in the U- in the states and uh, we're going to be doing that and um yeah we, we got a whole lineup of stuff coming 2017 yep. is going to be fucking very busy for us uh yep. with this channel yep. and we're really yeah, really with a excited lot of the stuff we love yeah, we're really, really excited and, and, and to and to bring this to you guys and have this conversation because that's the whole point. Um, so once again, thank you for the support. We're going to end this now. Uh, keep a watch out for the rest of our videos. Go enter that giveaway so you can win a $10 gift card for Amazon. And uh, my name is Chris. With me as always, Jesse and Mike. All right. And we're done. Yeah. Guys, thank you so much, and we'll see you next video. Peace out.